everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. A little bit more on page 25. <clears throat> There's a possibility that recruitment will not proceed as expected due to factors such as intensifying competition and changing market needs. There is a possibility of outflow of current employees from the company. That's on page 25. As we basically are saying that there's probably going to be people that are going to be leaving employees. Uh, I don't know if they consider VTubers employees, but that's one thing that's going to be happening. As we develop content IP services centered on VTubers, you know, the structure which revenue is dependent on the popularity of specific VTubers. So they're going to be focusing on stronger on the, the, the favorites, pretty much the favorites. Um, there is a structure in which revenue is dependent on popularity of specific VTubers. The possibility that our business performance will be affected when popular VTubers stop their activities, graduation, retirement, etc. So they know that they depend on the very few who are extremely popular, Kuzuha, Kane, Salome, those, and on the English side, you know, Vox and, and the, the people in Luxium, uh, Scarla, etc. They're depending on just a very small portion of their actual talent pool. And, uh, they're saying there's a possibility that they're going to be leaving. And if they do, they will get hurt big time. And a possibility that recruitment will not proceed as expected uh, because of competition and changing market needs. And also, you know, the fact that people don't like Nidhi Sanji anymore. Uh, how to say we have no faith in our staff and give up without saying we have no faith in our staff and give up. When popular VTubers stop their activities, it's not even if, it's when. Uh, the assumption is that it's not perceived as a long-term career. They expect everyone to eventually graduate, retire, so they're not expecting like 10 year long or whatever stuff. Not like what happens with uh, with Hololive. They're expecting people to leave. Uh, you know, when, once they get past their 20s, they want to go to something else. They want to go back into their independent thing. They want to do all that kind of stuff. Content creation is incredibly time and energy consuming. I know that as a fact. So that can stop people from doing it. This person says, hey, you passed the whole recruitment process, but we still won't hire you. Thanks for letting us waste your time and money. Firing staff required to notice with 350 minimum words. There are no favoritism in Nidhi Sanji, and the impact of the decision on financial results is negligible. Yeah, it's all the stuff that's happened pretty much. They did some changes. There were some changes going on. Ch -ch -ch changes If everybody knows about David Bowie, then I just probably got copyright struck. Some changes noted between Nidhi Roster and the IR Doc and previous 2022 version of it. This is all their stuff included in, in the, the management report. And here we have April 22 roster. There are basically they, they they bunched them up a little bit more. And of course they have a little bit more now compared to 2022, compared to the Didi Sanji EN roster that they have here. And these are the changes that this person has noticed. Chi Chan was removed from the front, which I think Chi Chan graduated, I believe. Uh Warabeda Meiji replaced with Kataribe uh Sumugus, uh Gen Mates. The area around Ars Alma was work reworked due to Uiha and Mazumi graduating, Mayuzumi. Uh, Sanbaka was relocated around where Gundo used to be. Le Le Levi or Levi and Albio got put more towards the front. We have Furen and Ibrahim were relocated next to Sanbaka, away from Melissa missing spot. IDKR was pushed back to make more room for newer JP members. ID and KR area looks fairly deserted because of the losses that they've had. Ken Mochi and Gaku were related, were relocated next to Utako. Uh, some other reshuffles, as that about all the time I feel like investing in this. Hopefully it shows that even JP has had some losses. Ian roster image missing from the dock. Quite in line from overall Ian abandonment vibes. Seen from the rest of it, KR and ID have been pushed back. Also now with the JP focus. While also showing how bad the losses are. Uh, Bono and Utako being in the dock despite being graduated is less of an issue for me than given how recent it was. Yeah, the dock was probably done around like April when the actual thing was done. But um, they, they put it out to now, you know. April, I think, is when it was ended. Maybe it was done around May. And, you know, Bonavir and other things, they, they recently graduated. So it makes sense for them not to be there. Taking a look at the EN Summer Jam stuff, the breakdown, we're going to go over the look of everything. Girls Group 1, they've sold, after four weeks, they've sold 7% in the orchestra, 86% in the pit, total 11% sold, total for the boys group, 13% sold, total in the Core Noir, 14% sold, for the grand total of 13.27% sold of the total tickets. You have tickets sold per hour is 0 0.20, 0 0.14, and 0.14 after four weeks. Uh, so it's less than one ticket per hour. Tickets sold per day. They have uh, four tickets sold per day on, on the girls, on Crow Noir, on boys. On Crow Noir, they have 3.36, boys 3.36. Needed for 100%, 74 a day, uh, but they're not going to be able to get that. Money earned after the certain period, we have uh, $15,200 
um, sold in total for the orchestra and pit for girls, $29,000. For the boys, $38,000. For the Cour Noir, $28,000. And for the grand total of $90,000 sold. That's still, honestly, pretty good. I mean, I'm not going to say that they're not going to be making at least at least even. You know what I mean? Here we have the projected ticket sales after 50 days. Uh, they're going to have about 566%, 14%, 14%, 16%, 15% total. That's what they are expecting the sales to be after... This guy is going through a lot of stuff. And after everything is said and done, they're expecting the date of sellout to be um, based on week four sales uh, in 2026, which is not going to be enough because they're going to be doing it in about two or three weeks. So it's not going to be enough. They're not going to sell out. So it was never going to be a sellout, but it's probably going to be maybe a quarter to a half done, maybe at that point. Below are the the uh, the tickets sold. The, the grays are the tickets sold right now after girls group one for uh, the full sold. The blue is, you know, uh, booked in the fourth week. Only a couple booked in the fourth week. The back are accessible tickets. The front is orchestra. Uh, the, I mean, the pit and orchestra and stuff like that. So those, the, the pit and orchestra are almost always going to sell first. Boys group, looks like it's actually the boys are selling. Yeah, from the look of it, boys are selling more. And Cro Noir, looks like it's it's pretty much going through the center, of course, which everyone sells. And looks like they're actually selling better for the most part. Uh, All-Star Stage Music Universe, comparing it. Other Anime Expo concerts for comparison. They did a total of 25K. Um, and Cro Noir, uh, so they sold more than Cro Noir. Um, the tickets per day, projected tickets, 426. Uh, first virtual concert, uh, 5th of June. These are all the ones being sold right now. The music venues, they're not selling as much, of course, because they're not, like, large. Tube Out, Los Angeles 2024 virtual live concert. That sold 31K total, 627. So they're selling more than these small agencies, but they're small agencies, so that's the thing. Quick count, the following seats are available for comparison. Um, Hollow Live EN second concert sold 782, as you can see here. The Niji San GN first con, Summer Jam, is only selling, uh, both shows are going to be selling 417. And uh, total for Pit is going to be 167, a Cro Noir. So yeah, they're going to be making some profit, it looks like. Uh, but, you know, it's going to be some stuff going on there. You know, it's funny when you know about more about Niji events in this channel than from Niji official media accounts. You know, people actually taking time to do all this. It's kind of fun. It's kind of interesting. The cleanest representation of everything. I love this guy doing this stuff. This person, guy, woman, whatever it is, they, them. Uh, I love that they're doing this. Wonder how they're going to shoot this uh, This so the emptiness of the theater isn't immediately obvious. They're going to have a lot of close-ups, probably. Little Cloud Mat to work out online streaming tickets. I think they read Tazumi Surprise by Colors Online Tickets. Based on quarter four, it's about 25000 to 30000 streaming tickets. So it might be the same for this one. They might be making their money more on the streaming tickets in this case. This is a funny that uh, Nidhi Sanji puts out there. They're saying that they provide high-quality content by building competitive edge and infrastructure. Yeah, right. They really haven't been supporting people, including network engineers for streaming and our own studios equipped with motion capture and other equipment. But their AR Live and other things have shown that their motion capture isn't that great. At least their, their engineers aren't doing so much work. They aren't doing so many things. You know, it's just like, what the hell? A market where large companies can easily leverage their superiority through use of existing communities. I hate the fact that they use superiority, the large companies having superiority. I hate the, the language of it. That's what I hate. Markets where large companies can easily leverage their superiority. Does not allow share any screenshots from any events. Exactly. That's the thing. They're not allowing any screenshots, which is, what the hell? Communities they just burnt to the ground through mistreatment of talents. That brings in the community in the first place. I know, right? They're literally DMCA'd every post. Uh, Blizzard, any color comfortable working environment? Yeah. And I'm saying here, actively recruiting new employees to create a comfortable working environment and human resources streams system. Yeah, right. They're not going to be doing that. We can build our infrastructure, immediately spends most of their cash on hand to buybacks. Man, imagine putting out a public statement about how you're going to copy the industry leaders. Homework, then immediately doing the, I'm just here for the money thing. Yeah, that was just BS on that part. It's all lip service. All of this is lip service. And it's the horrible lip service. Time for some memes for you guys. A little made up of meme break. One unethical decision after another. Any color stock. Stock buyback. Paying 37.5% of their entire assets for their stocks. Neasy, <laughs> negligent sisters. Uh, basically, it makes, it look, makes them look so much better. But, you know, they have all this other extra skin. This nastiness. If Riku is abandoning GN, that means, oh, no. Albin! Albin Knox. Oh, no. This are having a theory of break was in relation to this. Seems more likely he's done with things than JP Senpai's before. So yeah, it could be a lot of things. It could be a lot of things. So yeah, it could be a, a ton of things. Uh, it's practicing interacting with JP more and doing idle stuff. The next one is we will no longer support any GEN. But he didn't do that before. And they're off. <laughs> it's like they, they, they're ignoring it and they're off. 
Gotta love it. You gotta love these things. You gotta love it. I love memes like this. Just wanted to give you guys a bit of a meme break. A good question for everybody who enjoys Nidhi Sanji or enjoys Hololive, enjoys any other VTuber. How do you pick the people that you want to actually watch? First, you know, of course, a lot of people like myself, uh, you pick what website you want to go to. You pick, you know, whether it be Twitch, whether it be YouTube, whether it be, you know, Rumble. Well, a lot of people don't use Rumble, but Kick or any of that kind of stuff. It's personal preference. Check who's live. And um, he people go, Henya, Kei-san, Nirosama, etc., etc. He has his little people that he chooses. They, you know, it could be he or she or they. Once on YouTube, my first check is Hollow Live karaoke streams. Hollow girls usually good singers, so it's pretty entertaining. Then I check Case on Mint Fuamoko. It depends on where you started your journey. Some people start with independent VTubers, as you know, maybe they start with with or smaller corporations like Phase, Idol, any of those. Vispo, V4 Mirai, Kawaii Production, Kawaii, all those people, Kawaii or Production Kawaii, any one of those people, or they start with the larger organizations like Hollow Live, like Navy Sanji, like those, and then they pick based on the Character design, a lot of them. A lot of them will go character design first because that's the first thing you see. Then you see if they're playing the game that you like. That's what I usually do. And then right there, I keep watching them if their personality fits something that I want to watch, that I want to be entertained by. Major events or something I plan in advance. Bristol-Tuber, Ludwig Charity Stream. Yeah, basically, some people like to stick with a single company. I like to go, you know, spread out. I'll watch everything, like I said, from Production Kawaii, Idle EN, Idle JP, whichever ones, it'll all go. If you're debuting 500 talents a year, that in on purpose. It ain't time to go shift through all that. Yeah, you'll you'll probably look at um what I do a lot of times is look at uh clips. I look at clips which are you know shorter two minute segments, sometimes thirty second segments, of you know the best moments that someone popped out with. Someone chose the moments that they that they liked. I'll see if it's something someone that I like, someone that I'm like eh about. There are a lot that I'm eh about, but that's normal. A lot of people are eh, are eh about me, so that's normal to see that. Personally, gonna get. Couldn't get Twitch to click with me. Just use YouTube and see what algorithm sends my way. Clippers in particular are a huge gateway for me. Exactly. That's how I got into VTubing by Clippers. A clipper of, you know, people like Toa, Watame, Sora, you know, people like that, the earlier, earlier gens, you know, the, the gamers gen. Those are the ones that got me into like Hollow Life first because those were the ones that had most clippers that I saw at least. And then I was like, ooh, VTubing is interesting since I was already into anime. VTubing was interesting for me and I got into it that way. That's how some people get into it. That's how a lot of do. That is all for right now. Of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord. There's Twitter. There's other places that you can check me out. Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.